Hello. Uh. Hi guys. So today we are going to do a hair tutorial on Miss Lilia's hair. Hi. <laughs> I'm not like a hair expert. I'm not really sure what to call this hairstyle. I'll figure something out, but um, this is a hairstyle that many of you have been requesting, and there's a little boy that's about to run in. Mom. Hi! Mom. Yeah. So, we are getting ready for school this morning, so you might see little ones oh. coming in and out of the room, but this is a highly requested video for a hair tutorial of one of the hairstyles that I did on Lilia in a couple of my recent videos. So, I'm gonna explain this as best as I can. What you're going to need is a spray bottle with just some water in it. Then I have two hair ties that are gonna hold large chunks of her hair, so you don't need the littler ones, you just need the big ones. And then of course a brush, we use the wet brush and, and maybe some like hairspray if you want to like just keep it in, um, in place. And then I also use one of these like combs that has this little end right there, that way I can part her hair easier. First you're going to part her hair down the middle all the way down to the back. Once you have that done, I'm going to go ahead and take one of these, one of the sides, and just kind of like keep it out of the way for now. And I'm gonna start on this side first. So it always helps me when I'm braiding to wet the area. Hi! Not crazy hair hey, today. <laughs> Don't do this. <laughs> so it always helps me if I wet her hair, especially if I'm braiding it. This braid that I'm going to do, I think it's called a Dutch braid. I'm going to explain it as best as I can, but I do recommend you go watch like some YouTube tutorials because they could probably explain it a little better than I can. What you're going to do is you're going to take a little chunk of hair in the front right here and I always, again, wet it because it just makes it a little bit easier. And you're going to split it into three strands like you're going to do a normal braid. The difference between this kind of braid and like a normal braid <laughs> is that is the direction that you're braiding. So normally when you, when you would French braid, at least for me, I would go in. So I would take these strands and go in like this. So with this braid, you're going to go out. So you're going to take the three strands like this and you're gonna start braiding out. I don't know a better way to explain this other than just showing you guys, so I'm just gonna kind of show you guys and hopefully you guys can kind of see what I'm doing. So I'm going to go out just like this. And then as you can see, I formed the beginning of a little braid right there. When I get to this point, I'm going to pick up a, a little bit more hair at the bottom here, and I'm gonna do at this the same at the top as well. So I grabbed a little bit here and then I'm going to grab a little bit at the top. So I'm just gonna kinda keep doing it and maybe you guys will be able to like see it better. You can see every time I get to the top up here I grab a piece of hair and then every time I drop a hair down here I grab another piece of hair as well. So I'm gonna keep doing this until I get about halfway down the head. And then what I'm gonna start doing is turning it to go towards her part. So normally I would just keep this line going down here and then you could just like put it into a rubber band or something. But we're gonna do like the crisscross look. So I'm gonna start like pulling it this way. And there is going to be hair left over down here because that's going to be grabbed into the other side if that makes sense so once I get to this point right here you can see it's kind of going this direction I'm just going to finish off this side with a braid just a normal regular braid like that so as you can see it starts up at the top here and it goes around into the curve curves like that so I'm going to take the other hair tie and just temporarily just Secure the end of that and I'm going to do the same thing on the other side and try to make sure that this part stays over there so you don't get get them confused
All right, so I braided it a little over halfway again, and, and as you can see, there is hair left over here again. So I'm just gonna finish out this braid just normally. I'm not gonna pick up any more hair with it at the end and pull it in the direction of the other side. So since I already have this braid in my hand here, I'm gonna go ahead and do this side first. I'm gonna pull this braid onto this side over here and grab the remainder of the hair that I had over here, this braid and this hair, and put it into a ponytail. So then I'm gonna do the same thing with the other side. I'm going to remove this hair tie from here. As you can see, you grab the braid from this side over here, and you're going to put it into a little pigtail on this side as well. This hairstyle always looks better to me when you put some bows in it, so I'm gonna go ahead and put a bow on each side. One there and one there. And that finishes off this look. You guys, I hope I explained it in a way that made a little bit of sense, but it goes from the top down to the bottom into the pigtails. And Lily, turn around. And that's what it looks like from the front. Super, super adorable. What do you think, Lily? You like this hairstyle? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so that is it for this video guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope it was semi easy to follow along with. And I will talk to you guys next tomorrow for our next beta video. Say bye! Bye! bye.